Hi folks and welcome back to Fishing with Dan. This is the fourth in my series on um, most useful fishing knots for anglers, certainly um, from my style of fishing anyway. And today we're going to cover the, the sliding float, but more specifically the sliding stop knot. So you can see the float goes down on the line and then when it arrives at the knot, it stops. Just like that. That allows you to fish um, a lot deeper water than you could with a normal waggler. And I've actually done a, a video on that. So I'll, I'll put a pop up up above and I'll also put a link down below so you can uh, have a look at it if you want to. But today then, we're just gonna show you how to tie the sliding stop knot. So here's the main line. And I've got about 30 centimeters of line and I've just formed a simple loop. Place the loop alongside the main line and then take one of the tag ends and just hold it in place so that the loop stays alongside the main line here. Then take that same tag end and pass it round about six times around both the loop and the main line. Then take the end of the line and pass it through the loop. Pull tight and you should end up with a loop at either end of the knot. Just put some saliva on your fingers, wet it down. Now you can pull it tight. Draw it together, just pull it towards each other. A bit more pressure. And as you can see, we've now got a good knot. So just test to make sure it moves. Cut off about 50 millimeters of line from each of the tag ends. And that's your knot complete. As you can see, it will slide easily, but not too easily. And you can always tighten up a little if you need to. If you over tighten this knot, it will crimp the line and you don't want that. So just go very carefully as you, you pull the knot together. And that's it. That's the sliding stop knot. And don't forget, folks, you can always hit the subscribe button and click the notifications bell to get lots more videos from my channel.